All right, hello everyone. Um, this is Joanne again with Muslim Faith of Austin and Austin Yoga Tree with our Gentle Yoga series for Ramadan. Um, this is a series specifically designed um, for anyone who might be fasting during this time, um, poses that will help our digestion to help with fatigue and headaches. And just in general, hopefully bring some peace and calm into our lives help reduce any stress and um, a lot of stuff that we have going on in our daily lives just to make ourselves feel better. So welcome. Um, if you're practicing from home like I am, you don't need any special props. I would suggest grabbing some extra pillows and blankets that you might have around your place. So I'm gonna crawl over here to my mat. So throw pillows work great, just a pillow off the bed. Um, I have a little throw blanket as well. And we're gonna start tonight's class from a seated position. I would definitely suggest sitting up on some type of prop. You're even welcome to sit on the edge of a chair, um, edge of a piece of furniture, wherever is comfortable. I'm gonna prop myself up on my little meditation cushion and blanket here. And then any comfortable seated position, so cross-legged is a nice option. And for that, Sukhasan, you can just cross at the ankles here. Get yourself comfortable, sit up nice and tall. Find both sit bones wherever you might be. Adjust your surroundings in your clothing. And then we could take chin mudra tonight. That's bringing the index finger to thumb to touch. This means seal of wisdom or knowledge. And gently rest the hands on the knees, either facing down for a little bit more calming energy or up for a little bit more energizing energy. Let the arms just kind of relax beside the torso. Elevate the chest slightly. Feel the ears floating on top of the shoulders, the head just floating on the shoulders. And then once we're in position, begin to softly close the eyes here. Giving our hardworking eyes a break from our day. Just allow them to relax. Turning our attention inward so that we can begin to let go of all of our to-do lists and allow ourselves to reconnect to the body, to the breath. So continue to sit up nice and tall through the spine and the crown of the head. Let the muscles across the face soften. Poof the cheeks with air, swallow a couple times to help the mouth, tongue and jaw relax. Feel the weight of the shoulders and elbows falling away from the ears. Notice the gentle weight of the hands on the knees. Let the lower half of the body sink towards the ground, relaxing around the hips and the hip creases, through the knees, into the ankles, feet, and toes. As we're reconnecting to the physical body tonight, if we come across areas that need a little extra TLC, let's pause on those areas. Send a healing breath into them and let them relax. Remembering that every day is a new day and that we each have permission to modify and adjust our practice for ourselves. And now let's begin to observe the natural rhythm of the breath. Simply observe and watch the body breathe in. Observe the body breathe out. We'll try to breathe as smoothly and evenly in and out through the nose throughout our practice tonight. 
You might feel this breath moving around the tip of the nose and the nostrils. And start to follow that breath into the body. Noticing any subtle movements or sound it might make. We will begin to deepen this breath at the start of our practice here into some diaphragmic pranayama or yogic breathing. If it helps you concentrate, place one or even both of your hands on the belly. Continue with the smooth breath in and out through the nose. On the next inhale, relax the belly completely and really try to let it expand like a balloon. On the exhale, gently contract the abdominal muscles, drawing the navel towards the spine. On the inhale, we let the abdomen relax, it expands. This allows our diaphragm to drop down, pulling that breath deep into the lungs. The exhale, we pull the belly in, gentle contraction. This helps push the diaphragm up, helping to push that old air out of the lungs. Keep going at a comfortable rhythm with your body and breath. And let's follow one more cycle of breathing here. Feel free to expand this breath a little bit more. Next inhale, trying to sip in a little bit more fresh air and energy into our bodies. Really fill yourself up. And then exhale just as important. So that next exhale, take that extra time to really squeeze everything out, emptying and letting go of stale old air and energy. After that last exhale, we will let go of trying to control and follow the breath for a moment. It can wander away wherever it wants to go. Notice the posture of the body, sit up a little taller as needed. And then we'll begin to softly flutter our eyelids back open, bringing awareness back to our surroundings. Let's give our legs a quick break. We will come back to seated here, but just for a moment, notice that which foot is in front. Stretch both legs out, pedal the feet a couple times. Feel free to massage up and down those legs. And then we'll come back to a seat, but try to play the opposite foot in front this time. Find those hip bones, sit up nice and tall. So we'll start loosening up the upper half of our body with the breath. Float the fingertips out the side of the body here. Turning the palms up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in. Let's reach those arms out and all the way up to the ceiling. Float the chin slightly and roll the eyes up towards the ceiling. Turn the palms out, exhale. Fingertips back down to the ground and drop the chin towards the chest to stretch out the root of the neck. Again, nice centering breath here. Inhale, arms up, chin up, and gaze upwards. Exhale, fingertips float down, and chin drops down. Inhale, arms up. This time, seated twist. Exhale, rotate to your right. Float the fingertips back down. Try to find the opposite knee. There's no weight in that backhand. Continue to twist through the head and neck, opening the eyes nice and wide. Inhale, bring everything back up to center. And exhale, nice big twist to the left. Shoulders and chins stay parallel to the ground, peek behind the body. We'll do this one more time to each side. Inhaling through center, arms up. Exhale, nice twisting action. Twist, salt, massage our internal organs and that digestive system. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, one more time to the left, bring it out. Inhale, both arms back to center, right into seated triangle. Lower the right fingertips to the floor. 
Exhale, lean over to the right, stretching the whole left side. Follow the breath. Inhale up to center. Switch arms. Exhale over to the left. Keep those sit bones rooted. Gently pull the low belly in. Inhale up. Exhale back over to our right. Feel that stretch through the waist, the rib cage, and shoulder. And one more time to our other side. Inhaling. Exhale, bring it over. Last inhale, reach both arms up to the ceiling. Bring the palms to touch and exhale to our center. And then once again, let's give our legs a stretch. So just stretch them out in front of you, pedal those feet, massage down into those ankles and feet as needed, get the blood flowing. And we'll make our transition to tabletop now. Adjust yourself in your surroundings, move your props around as needed. And tabletop, we spread the fingers nice and wide here. The arms are strong, stacked right under the shoulders. And we stack the knees underneath the hips. Toes may be tucked under or tops of the feet flat to the floor. Starting with a neutral spine, we'll come back to our breath. And as we breathe in, gently relax the belly, lift the tail and the crown of the head, gazing upwards. Exhale, draw the belly in, scoop that tailbone under and round the back up to the ceiling. Again, keep going at your own rhythm. Inhaling into extension, very gentle back bend. Exhaling, rounding into flexion. Add side movements as you like, more movement in the hips or the neck and shoulders. And just use this pose as a way to help loosen up the back. And then we'll come back and meet in a neutral position and we'll give our legs a stretch from our seated pose. Keep the low back and hips level, stretch the right foot straight back from the hip. And then it's up to you how much you wanna press that heel towards the floor. That will intensify the stretch up the back of the leg. Keep equal weight in the hands and be mindful of where the head is in space. Hold here, breathing into it. And then we'll switch legs, so right knee down, hips stay level, low back stays level, left foot stretches back. You're pressing back as much as it feels good for you. We should feel that stretch all the way up the back of the leg. And then we'll bring that knee down. Let's stretch out the back a little bit more. Open the knees nice and wide, as wide as the mat. Big toes touch. Dropping hips towards the heels for balasana or child's pose. We can continue to stretch our fingertips forward to help open the chest and the heart. Melting belly, heart and head to the ground. Our head should be supported here. So if the head doesn't easily touch, stack those fists under the forehead or use some type of pillow or prop to support the head. If we have a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders, feel free to be more passive by dropping the elbows to the ground, or even just sweeping the hands back by the feet and draping the upper body over the lower body. Start to rock the forehead side to side. If you're on a comfortable prop or the floor, this can help with fatigue and headaches in this pose. We'll also feel that stretch around the hips and the low back. Let's take one more breath in child's pose. And then use the strength in the hands and the body to come back up into tabletop. We'll bring the knees back underneath the hips, the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under, draw the low belly in, and this time we'll float up into a gentle inversion, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. If this pose doesn't work for you, feel free to stay in tabletop or child's pose, or just go up and down as needed. So this does redirect the blood flow to the brain. It helps take pressure out of the back. 
walk those heels, pedaling them one at a time to continue to stretch out the backs of the legs. Let's try to take a couple more breaths in downward facing dog. And then we'll move ourselves into Uttanasana forward fold by walking the feet and hands towards each other. You may keep a nice deep bend in the knees and even place your elbow on top of your thighs to help support your body in this forward fold. You may also continue to reach towards the ground or take opposite elbows into ragdoll pose. Continuing in our inversion and that big stretch for the back of the body. Try to let the head relax. But do pull in slightly through the low belly and the legs are working to support you here as well. One more breath. To come up, micro bend those knees, placing the hands on the thighs with the fingers facing each other. Tuck the chin and inhale, roll up the spine. Really try to breathe in deeply. Press our blood pressure, especially if you're fasting, you put nice low blood pressure. But if you get lightheaded or dizzy, just bring yourself right back to the ground. And we'll meet in Tadasan Mountain Pose, our standing pose here. So the feet are running parallel to each other. Legs are straight, but nice and strong. Gently draw the front body to the back body. Let that tailbone drop down towards the ground. Arms just float off the side of the body. And again, that head is just slightly floating on top of the shoulders. Turn the palms out with the breath. Inhale, reach up into a nice extended mountain pose, reaching overhead. Turn those palms back down and exhale, float the arms down. So we've done this balancing pose the last couple of classes for Ramadan, palm tree pose. This time, inhale, arms up. Close the heels up and rise up onto the tippy toes. And as you exhale those arms down, lower the heels back down to the ground. Let the eyes be focused on one spot at the horizon. And we'll do two more of these tonight. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more round. We'll move into one more standing balancing pose. Inhale the arms up. Bring the palms to touch and exhale, find your center. Open the feet just slightly here. And then shift the weight over into the right leg. It's a nice and strong, pull into the low belly slightly and start lifting and lowering the left toes from the floor, playing with the balance. We'll float the arms out beside the body here as well and try to find a hover. Make sure you're in a safe space. You're always welcome to use a wall or a chair if that helps. We're just floating here. Tarasana pose will be a little bit more dynamic if you like. Spread toes and fingers and use your muscles to try to lift the leg out at an angle and the arms reach up. Big, bright, shining star, Tarasana, star pose. Keep breathing. Take one more breath in. On the exhale, we'll try to land as softly as possible. Inhale, arms up, big stretch. Palm stretch, exhale to center. Other side, shift the weight into the left leg. Left leg is nice and strong. Draw up to the low belly. Start to lift and lower the toes of the right foot. Let's see if we can float those arms and hover the foot for a moment, playing with the balance here. Stay here or a little bit more strengthening. Toes and fingers spread. We lift the leg using our muscles, reaching out into that big shining star position. Continue the breath.
One more big breath in. And exhale. Again, try to land as softly as possible. Take another big breath in, reach up to the ceiling. Palms touch, exhale to center. All right, we're gonna come right back down to the ground today and do some more work down here. But tonight, let's come towards the back of our yoga mat, still in mountain pose. Release the hands back beside the body, feet parallel. Inhale, reach those arms up. Gazing up for a little bit of extension. On the exhale, micro bend the knees, swan dive the arms back around and down. Moving into your forward fold. And then we'll try to walk ourselves forward today on our hands. So crawling forward, lift your hips back up until we're back into downward facing dog. Let the head float between those upper arm bones. Draw the belly towards the thighs. We press the thighs towards the back of the room. One more breath. And we'll drop down to our knees. We're going to come onto our bellies tonight. So if you need to readjust with yourself at home, do so. You may hinge forward and try to lower down using the strength of your arms here. And then slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Take the tops of the feet and press them into the ground strongly. Do keep your feet wider than your hips if you take care of your low back. Or you may bring the insides of the feet and legs to touch. The chin is stretching forward and we're drawing our shoulder blades back and down. On the inhale, squeeze the muscles of the back, upper back mid, low back, even the glutes, and lift the heart into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. As you exhale, you can drop the forehead or kiss the mat back down. So inhale, strengthens the muscles, squeeze, lift the heart, exhale down. One more round, inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. But this time, slide the elbows forward so that they're directly underneath your shoulders here. So the upper arm bone should be perpendicular to the floor. If you take the webbing of your index finger and thumb and turn your hands in, you should be able to grab the inside crease of your elbows. You may knife the pinky side of the hands into the floor or palms down. At this point, we're in sphinx pose. It's a gentle back bend. Relax your heels out, relax the buttocks and the low back. Let your arms do the work. So we're countering the sitting. We're also stretching our abdominal muscles. Gently float the crown of the head upwards. Take a breath in. On the exhale, peek over the right shoulder. Again, stretch those eyes out. See how far you can see. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. One more time, each side, a little release for our neck, helping to get rid of tension around the neck and shoulders. Inhale, center. And then exhale to the left. Inhale, we'll meet back in center. Nice lift through the heart. As you exhale, walk the hands back under the shoulders, drop the head down. Tuck the toes under. We have to push ourselves back up. So use those nice strong arms. Push the body up. Come back to tabletop. We were doing a little back bending. So we'll take some cat cows here to stretch those muscles. Inhale to cat. Carefully exhale, round the back to stretch the muscles. Let's do one more round. An even bigger stretch. Try this time to bring the feet and knees to touch. One more version of child's pose. Hips to heels, head towards the floor, hands release back to the feet. If the head doesn't touch, 
Again, you can stack your fists or place a prop under the head. And then let's all round up. So tuck the chin, inhale, roll up to the spine. If you're able to sit back on the heels, do so. Otherwise you may tra transition differently. Once we're in our seat, we will transition. We'll just drop over to either hip and bring our feet out in front of us. Moving right into Baddha Konasana, our cobbler's pose. Again, I'm taking a little lift for my sit bones, bringing my blanket behind me. This pose is a hip opener. We'll scooch ourselves up on our prop and try to bring the insides or the soles of the feet, I should say, soles of the feet to touch. So I'm pretty tight in my low back and hips. I'm gonna need a little bit more lift, so I'm adding an extra cushion. Some of us not, might feel that much if we're more flexible in the area, and that's okay, you'll still get benefits of it. So we wanna sit up tall through the whole length of the spine. You may gently reach down to the ankles or feet, and then just allow gravity to attraction out the thigh bones, feeling that stretch to the inner thigh and hip creases. Keep that breath flowing in and out through the nose. Now for a little bit more, so if you have more flexibility, you might be able to go much further into this pose. Start walking your fingertips forward without rounding the spine. So lead with the heart. Some of you might be bringing your hands all the way forward and the body more parallel to the floor. That's fine too. Go as far into it as is comfortable for yourself. We'll take two more rounds of a nice deep breath here. Our next inhale will bring us back up to a seated position. If you bowed forward, take your time coming back up so that we're sitting nice and tall. Float the knees up and step the feet out wider than the hips. Take your weight back onto your fingertips and rock those knees side to side, loosening up that hip area. One more seated pose is Upavisa Konasana, so seated angle pose. Simply opening those legs up into a V. I'm going to lower my, my lift. It's not necessarily about doing the splits. We're just continuing to try to stretch out those inner thighs, backs of the legs. We want the legs to be strong here. Flexing the feet and pulling the toes back to the shin bones. The toes and the knees we want pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Find both sit bones. Again, the spine should stay nice and long. If we're hinging, it's here at the hip versus collapsing and rounding to the back. Hands beside the hips to help sit up tall. Or once again, move your fingertips and you may walk forward as much as is comfortable. So we should be feeling inner thigh, back of the leg stretch. Couple more deep breaths here. Next inhale, walks us back up to our seated position. Sit up tall, give those knees a little wiggle and then help those knees to bend back up. Good. And we're gonna walk ourselves around, come off of our lift if we're on one, and it's time to transition onto our back. So we'll do a more for our hips and digestion. So you wanna have enough space behind you to lie down comfortably. If you just lean off to one hip and walk yourself down, that's a fairly easy way to roll onto our back. 
we'll get resituated here. If you do have ponytails, make sure you move them out of the way. Adjust your clothing and your surroundings. Once we're in position, adjust the shoulders and then hug the knees into the body and give that low back a little massage side to side. So we'll do another hip opener here. This is supine pigeon. Drop those feet back to the floor. Extend the right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Now actively flex this right foot, pulling the toes towards the shin bone. We'll externally rotate at the right thigh. So you're turning your thigh out. You should notice your toes move out slightly and heel moves in. And then crossing the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Hold it here for a moment. Take the right hand to the inner thigh and gently encourage that thigh open. A little rock side to side might help you feel the pose a little differently. Taking it a step further, lift your left foot from the floor and take the hands behind the left thigh around the hamstring. We should be feeling it in our outer right hip. This is the area that we're stretching. Shoulders down, head down, drawing the left knee towards the left shoulder. Keep your right foot flexing. Extend the left foot up to continue to stretch out the left hamstring. Or going a step deeper yet, trying to reach those hands across the left shin bone. That's a little much for me today. It's lifting my head up off the ground. So I'm gonna go back to the thigh bone. But if you have your shin bone, same thing. You're drawing your left knee towards your left shoulder, keeping your shoulders and head grounded. And we'll all take a couple more nice deep breaths. And then depending where we are, release your grip, drop your left foot back down to the ground, re-extend the right leg up to the ceiling, and then bring the right foot down to the ground. Take a moment to windshield wipe and rock your knees side to side. Then we'll do that series on the other side. So shoulders are grounded, feet to the ground, extend left leg straight up to the ceiling. Actively flex that foot, toes to shin bone. Then externally rotate the leg so the thigh turns out, heel and toes out. Cross that left ankle on top of the right thigh. Left hand to the inner thigh and gently encourage it open. You're always welcome to take any variation that works. So if you'd like to stay right here tonight, continue to enjoy this variation. Taking it a step further, bring the right foot up. Wrapping both hands around the back of the right side, encouraging the right knee towards the right shoulder. We should be feeling this in our outer left hip. Right foot up if we want to add that hamstring stretch in there. Or some of us may want to grab the right shin bone. Shoulders down, head down to deepen the stretch for the left hip. Your choice. Couple more breaths. Keep the face nice and relaxed. If you're feeling a lot of tension or tightness around that hip, just use the exhale. Open the mouth, let out a nice ah, sighing breath if that tension starts to clench the jaw. And then we'll release the side, bring right foot to the floor, undo your grip, left foot to the floor, rock out those knees. So we'll come into our um, digestive compression, Pavana Mukhasana, wind relieving pose. Let's start by drawing the right knee in. Into revolving fingers on that right shin bone. Drop the shoulders down. And then gently draw your right knee more towards your armpit. So you're not pulling it straight into your chest. 
It's moving out more towards the armpit. Then slide your left heel forward and ground your left leg to the ground. Now we do a little bit of breath work for this pose that helps massage the internal organs and our digestive system. So as you breathe into the nose, back off a little bit, try to do that little yogic breathing where we let the belly inflate. And then the exhale brings a gentle compression, massaging our ascending colon. Inhale, back off a little bit, try to inflate the belly. Exhale, pull it in. One more round. After that last exhale and gentle pull, release your grip, drop the foot to the floor, slide it all the way out. And then inhale, reach your arms overhead, long body stretch, just look at the blood rushing back through that hip and open the belly. Exhale, float the arms down, walk the feet in, left side. And we have all 10 fingers on that fin bone, relax the shoulders down, gently draw the knee out towards the armpit. Slide the right heel straight forward and anchor the right leg to the floor. Again, you're moving just slightly off to the side, and now we'll work with our breath to massage this side. Inhale, back off, let the knee move away slightly. Try to feel the belly expand. Exhale, gentle pull in. Feel that compression. Inhale, back off, expand the belly. Exhale, uses the strong hands to pull in. Keep your elbows nice and close to the body. One more round. After that last exhale, release your grip, drop the foot to the floor, slide it out and take a big breath in as you reach your overhead. Stretch out the belly and the body. Exhale, bring those arms back down. Shrug the shoulders under. A little bit more of a flowing movement now. Set to Bandasan, our flowing bridge pose. This will tone and strengthen the backside. Again, it will stretch the front of the hip, stretch the abdominal area, and bring us into another gentle inversion, head above the heart. So squeeze the backside, inhale, breathing. Lift your hips just a little. You don't have to go very far. Point your knees straight forward. As you exhale, lower back down. Follow your breath. Inhale, strengthen the back. Knees point straight forward. Weight rolls into the meaty part of the shoulders, not the neck. Exhale down. Keep going. If we want an extra massage for the shoulders, the inhale as the hips come up. We'll reach our arms overhead and let them fall behind us. And then on the exhale, when our hips lower, we'll bring those arms right back down beside the body. Inhale, squeeze the lift the hips. Arms float up and overhead. Exhale to lower. Let's do two more of whatever variation works for us tonight. After our last round, we'll meet with the low back to the ground and arms down. And once again, hug those knees in. Take the hands behind the thighs and stretch those legs straight up to the ceiling for waterfall pose. Another beneficial inversion helps take the pressure of gravity off the lower joints that have been working hard for us all day and improve circulation. It directs blood flow and energy towards the head and the heart. Very soothing, relaxing pose. Helps with sleep. Now flex those feet, support the outer thighs. 
we'll open the leg to the Supta Konasana. Again, to give a stretch to our inner thigh and the back of the leg. Roll your ankles out. Keep your shoulders relaxed down, face nice, relaxed. To intensify the stretch, hands move to the inner thighs, massaging the muscles here. And bend at the knees, try to reach up for the toes of the feet with the soles of the feet facing the ceiling for happy baby. Go ahead and rock out the back. Let the weight of the thighs fall outside the armpits. And then bring the soles of the feet together, revisiting a variation of Supta or Baddha Konasana. This is Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees are still nice and wide. Heels draw towards the pubic bone. Keep your low back nice and grounded. Then reach for the outer knees, squeeze them together. Keep your feet parallel. We'll take a spinal twist here. So another great twisting motion for the abdomen area. Arms reach out beside the body like airplane wings. Exhale, lower your knees to the right. Feel free to add props as needed. Place the right hand on that top thigh if we want to deepen our twist. Sink the left shoulder into the ground and head turns to the left. Let everything relax towards the ground, unwinding from our day. Two more breaths. And then the next inhale rolls the head and the knees back up to center. You might need to do a little adjusting to get back into alignment before the next side, so do so. Knees together, feet parallel, arms up. Exhale, knees to the left. Add props if you like. Left hand to that top side to encourage a deeper twist. Relax the right shoulder down, turn the head to the right. Even close the eyes here. Just let the body relax to the ground. Let gravity help twist and wring everything out. And take some nice, deep, smooth breaths. Wringing out our day, letting go of any lingering tension we might feel in the mind, in the body. Let it go. Two more breaths here. And then we'll slowly meet back with the head and knees in a nice neutral position. This time, let's give our body a nice big hug. Try to reach across the shin bones as far as you can for opposite wrist, forearm, or elbows. Nose to knees to stretch out the upper back as well. Telling ourselves and our bodies how much we love and appreciate them. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to relax. And we're going to let go. So... If you're at home, if you're near like a sofa or a lazy boy or a chair, you can kind of slide yourself over there and take your lower legs on top of that piece of furniture. If you have some pillows beside you, 
You can take those behind the knees. It can feel quite nice for the body. Eye coverings, totally welcome. A scarf or a washcloth. Even placing blankets on top of the body can feel quite nice. You want us to be as comfortable as possible. So take a moment, get situated, adjust the shoulders, the low back, the legs. You can simply just let the body flop out on the floor and relax. The arm bones will roll open beside the body, palms facing the ceiling. Rock out the head a couple of times, finding the very back center of the skull. Poof those cheeks. <sighs> Relax the mouth. Once you're in a comfortable position, you wanna press that pause button, avoiding any unnecessary movement and cultivating stillness in the body. Relax all the little muscles across the face. Unfurl the brow. Relax the eyebrow center. Let the eyes sink into the socket. Relax the outer ears and inner ears. Relax the back of the jaw and the cheeks. With the lips softly touching, release the tongue and lower jaw to gravity. Relax the throat. Feel the weight of the shoulders, the elbows, the back to the hands. Let the fingertips curl up naturally. Relax the back of the heart. All the way down the back, vertebra by vertebra. Low back sinks into the ground. Relax the front of the body, softening the heart, the chest. Relax the belly completely. Notice a subtle rise and fall of the belly with the breath. Relax the hips, the hip sockets. Relax the larger muscles of the buttocks, the hips and thighs. Relax the space behind the knees, down into the shins, the calves, the ankles. Relax the feet the toes, relax the spaces between the toes. Relax the whole body, soften and relax the inside of the body. Notice a gentle, easy, and quiet breath around the tip of the nose and the nostrils. If the mind wanders, gently bring it back to this peaceful breath. As we take just one more moment of this day, to let go, 
to feel a sense of surrender and to simply be and breathe. We'll slowly start to come back to the natural breath of the body and start to breathe life back into our body. Start by waking up the toes, then the fingertips. Rock the head side to side, roll wrists and ankles. Next inhale, stretches those arms back overhead for a nice long body stretch. Give that right side a little bit more of a stretch. Give that left side a little bit more. And then spread those fingers, spread those toes, take a big breath in and create as much space inside the body as we can. Exhale, float the arms down, walk the feet back in, and then hug those knees back in to rock out the back. Mind our surroundings, we'll bring the right arm beside the head, and we'll roll all the way onto our right side into Supta Balasana, our little fetal position here to come out of Shavasana. 
try to keep the eyes closed or soft, press into the ground. We'll bring our body back up. One more time to any comfortable seated position. And we'll finish our class with just a couple more breaths together tonight. Sitting up nice and tall through the crown of the head. Flip those fingertips back out beside the body. Turn the palms up. Another big breath in, let's reach those arms up. Inhaling, let's gather up everything we need for the rest of our night. And then exhale, float the fingertips back down to the ground and let go of all that other junk we don't need tonight. One more time, inhale, arms up. Bring the palms to touch, exhale, hands to heart. Humbly bow the head down to the heart to honor and thank ourselves, our bodies, each other, And remembering to have gratitude in our lives for all the things, the people, the places that bring us happiness and joy. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace Peace Peace. And again, a big thank you to all of you that have joined us throughout these four weeks. Have you have a happy rest of your Ramadan and celebrations for the rest of this week. Thank you to Muslim Space again for um, offering this and to Austin Yoga Tree. So I hope you all get to Enjoy some time for healing for yourselves and for your family. And take care. See you again sometime.